starts at 6 on MSNBC. Welcome back. Get behind the president or get out of Congress. That appears to be the message the White House is sending to fellow Republicans. Trump social media director Dan Scavino taking to Twitter calling GOP congressman Justin Amash a big liability and urging the Trump train to defeat him in the primary. Amash responding uh, minutes later with this tweet. Trump administration and establishment have merged into Trump establishment. Same old agenda. Attack conservatives, libertarians and independent thinkers. It is the latest attack in a battle between President Trump and freedom caucus members like Amash, who first lashed out at the commander-in-chief on Thursday, the same day the Washington Post reported the president could actively campaign against Republicans who did not back him, with one White House official saying, our view is there is nothing as clarifying as the smell of Air Force One jet fuel. So if he needs to bring in the plane and do a rally, he's going to think about doing that. Joining me now is Congressman Robert Pittenger, Republican from North Carolina. Congressman, thanks so much for joining me. You Good support, baby. Happy Saturday. Good to see you. You supported the health care bill. So so you should be uh, safe from an Air Force One visit. But what about some of your mm -hmm. colleagues? Should they be worried? Well, President Trump ran on an agenda that uh, connected with the American people on health care, on taxes, on trade, on national security. And he's intent on fulfilling those commitments. So he will go into districts, I'm sure, to uh, convey what he believes is important uh, to get this agenda through. And I think that uh, uh, cooler heads will prevail at the end and we'll be able to get this done. But as a public servant, Congressman, should one worry that much about their seat or should they worry about the stance that they have and what they're standing for? Well, we all stand on principle. You know, Ronald Reagan stood on principle. You know, Ronald Reagan knew that there was a time to say, hey, you know, do I go jump off a cliff waving the flag for my cause or do, as, as he would say, take half a loaf and come back for the second half uh, the next time? So I think there's a time that we come together. Ronald Reagan uh, was able to find a, a path with Tip O'Neill. Uh, Newt Gingrich was able to do that with Bill Clinton. There's a time that we come together. You know, we can't look at life from just our own vantage point, from our own prism. We have to realize when we sit at the table that other people have vastly different needs in their own districts. They represent people maybe more seniors or more poverty areas or urban or rural. So we all have different constituency groups. And I hope that all will recognize the need to understand the basis by which uh, other people represent their districts. But does it come together under our own rules, Congressman? Would you say that to President Trump? Would you say that to Speaker Ryan as well, that it's time to come together from their perspective as well, along with Freedom I Caucus members? Oh, I do think they're trying very hard to come together. We had a very open discussion and time period, a multi meetings uh, where people had an opportunity to express their views, their opinions, and their ideas. We had four separate committees uh, who addressed this bill. So there was a very open forum uh, for this dialogue. It wasn't slam dunk like it was with Nancy Pelosi when she passed the bill. So I, I think it has been open. Uh, we just have to realize, uh, and I hope that some people will, and, and apparently a number of the uh, folks from the Freedom Caucus are saying, you know, it's time that we come together. So I hope that more will. So according to Gallup polls, uh, President Trump's approval rating is below uh, 40 percent, uh, Congressman. He's facing growing scrutiny uh, from members of both parties over the Russia investigation, as I just spoke about uh, a couple minutes ago. Does he have uh, the political capital right now? to pressure sure uh, fellow Republicans. He does. I think those distractions, uh, you know, we're in a 24-hour news cycle and someone's looking for some way to distract and get us off course. The issues facing this country are serious. We have radical terrorists seeking to destroy us. We have a, an economy that's so weak, growing at 1.5%. 1. 1. We have a health care system that's failing. We have trade policies that are not working. So we need to get on track doing the things that the American people ask us to do. And yes, these other issues need to get off the table and they need to get resolved. All right, I want to switch gears uh, to, to your home state's uh, bathroom bill. North Carolina just repealed and replaced the state's controversial bathroom bill. Uh, what are your thoughts on this law, Congressman? A lot of LGBTQ uh, members, they think this didn't go far enough. Well, I understand. Uh, I respect everyone. Uh, everyone is, deserves respect, consideration. Oddly enough, uh, this never was even a factor prior to the time that the city council took the initiative. And, you know, we didn't have any uh, complaints filed at the courthouse over people not being able to utilize a certain bathroom. Uh, so it was an issue that, uh, that grew out of nowhere. And uh, then 
the legislature responded. So now they've come together. They found their way to a compromise. And any compromise doesn't make everybody happy. Uh, that's part of compromise. So it, it does uh, provide a path forward. The Democrats and Republicans, the, the uh, Democrat governor and the Republican legislature agreed to it. So it's time we can put this behind us and move on for the good people of North Carolina. All right, Republican Congressman Robert Pittenger of North Carolina, uh, thank you for joining us. Up next, terrorists, they may have found a way to bring bombs onto airplanes without detection. NBC National Security reporter Ken Delanian, he's joining me with details, plus this. I will never, ever support a single-payer health care plan for America. Morning Joe speaks truth to power. Here's a message to the White House. You keep 